வணக்கம் வெல் வெல்கம் பேக் டு அவர் கோர்ஸ் எஸ்ஏபி மெட்டீரியல்ஸ் மேனேஜ்மெண்ட் இந்த செஷன் வி ஆர் கோயிங் டு டிஸ்கஸ் அபவுட் பர்ச்சேசிங் வியூ பர்ச்சேசிங் வியூ இஸ் மேண்டேட்ரி ஃபார் ஆல் த மெட்டீரியல்ஸ் விச் ஆர் பர்ச்சேஸ்ட் திஸ் இஸ் அ பாயிண்ட் வி டிஸ்கஸ் ஏலியர் ஸோ தட் வியூ தெர் ஆர் சம் ஃபீல்ட்ஸ் விச் ஹவ் டு மெயின்டைன் லைக் அ பர்ச்சேஸ் யூனிட் ஆஃப் மெஷர் ஆட்டோமேட்டிக் பர்ச்சேஸ் ஆர்டர் ட்ரிகர் பர்ச்சேஸ் வேல்யூ கியூ அண்ட் சம் அதர் ஃபீல்ட்ஸ் those things we'll discuss in this session before going to the session let us see the answers for the earlier session what is the transaction code to create metal master mm01 what is the transaction code to extend a metal master from one plant to another plant this is also mm01 what is the transaction code to extend one missing view extend or create a missing view of a metal master it is also mm01 so the answer for all these things are mm01 is it transaction mm01 <coughs> but the method will be little different for each one this one we discussed in the last session please go through them and please practice them then only you will know what is the difference here what is the maximum length of a metal number here we are talking about metal number <coughs> it is 18 to 40 uh, characters maximum is 40 maximum is 40 sorry a metal number can be created only by system internally true or false it is false because a metal number can be created internally by system or it can be created manually based on the mrp type settings a metal number can have alpha numeric combination true or false true we can define a metal with alpha numeric combination whether it is internal or external both the options can we change the industrial sector of a metal no it is not possible when we create the metal with one industry sector we cannot change it give some examples of metal types in sap i gave some simple examples like fe or finished goods halb semi finished goods hwa trading goods roh raw materials verp packaging metals like this you please go through other material types also because this is one of the fundamental things that any mm consultant or user should know and a metal type of a metal can be easily changed true or false depends if the material uh, does has uh, not gone any is not undergone any transactions then we can change the metal type if it has undergone some transactions then we need to do some steps before doing the metal uh, type change like removing the stock closing the purchase orders those kind of activities but anyway there are some rules we need to follow the rules we discuss in the last session please go through them can we create a new metal copying from another metal yes it is possible to create a metal from copying from another material so now we will talk about purchasing view please remember we talked about basic view and i asked you to how, i mean i we discuss how to create the metal master so you should have completed the basic view creation by this time now we are going to discuss purchasing view after completing this session you should go and start creating the purchasing view please remember it as we see here purchasing view is organization dependent it is a plant dependent view so we have to maintain the parameters which are relevant to plant now we are going to discuss about the purchasing view a purchasing view is a plant dependent view so whenever we try to create or change or display the purchasing view for a specific plant we need to give the plant number then only we can enter the plant specific details or we can uh, get the details of the plant specific details please note that here the basic details of material like a metal code or metal description basic unit of measurement material group they are all carried over from the basic view we already defined them in the basic data one and basic data two views so we don't need to enter them here again they will be automatically populated from basic data views we discussed these uh, attributes in our session on basic data views and for remaining parameters specific to the plant we have to maintain in this uh, field I mean in this uh, purchasing view all right so let us start with the order unit so what is order unit order unit is the unit of measurement in which purchase order will be placed please note in basic view only basic unit of measurement was defined while purchasing supplier may ask for different unit of measurement 
for example if you take oil the basic unit of measurement may be in liters but when we place the order to the supplier he may need them in kilograms or in drums at the time we can have this unit of measurement used here and how to give the link between liters and these different bum like kilogram or drums as we discussed this will be maintained in the the different unit of measurements in the additional data uh, options if this field is blank just as we seen in the screen if it is blank system will take basic unit of measurement as the order unit and then purchasing group purchasing group is a person or group of personnel responsible for procurement of the specific material what we are seeing here purchasing group is responsible for the procurement of material follow up of the material and until it is getting received into the organization of course they should also take care of the inventory of the materials in many organizations this is missing if they purchase it just they leave it but they should also take care of the inventory of those kind of materials so that a collective responsibility will be there externally it is the medium through which the contacts with the vendor are maintained in purchase order contact details of the purchasing group will be printed so supplier access the buyer easily so we are providing the details of the purchasing group you now like a phone number or fax number those things can be shared there so it will be printed in the purchase order so any suppliers the contact point of the supplier they will be able to identify who lease order they can keep in touch with them purchasing group may be either created as a individual names or based on category of materials or group of materials so different practices followed by different organizations based on their uh, business organization structure and also the nature of the business and the purchasing group is used as a important selection parameter to restrict the output related to in many uh, reports for example inventory report we can take with respect to purchasing group or we can take the purchase order details or purchase request and details or goods receipt details all these things we can take with respect to purchasing group so they can see the details specific to them they don't need to see all the details so then filter them and other things can be avoided by using this group so this definition of a purchasing group has to be done carefully so that it will be used effectively when the operation is carried out and then plant specific metal status this is status of the metal specific to the plant in basic view we discuss about cross plant status which was the status applicable to all the materials across the company code all the plants but here what we define is specific to this particular plant so whenever the metal is used or when the status is updated here like a slow moving or obsolete or a, a non moving item or some other status that status will be applicable only for this plant as we discuss in basic view depending on the status we can restrict the uh, transactions of this particular metal based on the status like if you don't want to create purchase order or we don't need to have the uh, goods received or we need to restrict this metal has to be issued to the production all these things can be restricted and what we do here based on the status is applicable to this plant only it will not affect the other plant so plant specific details can be obtained through this field in this view and then valid from is this particular status is valid from which date that can be updated here because any decision we are taking may not be applicable to immediately also because we have to wait for the metal to be stocked has to be depleted or some change or has to happen or a technical drawing design has to change it depend on various things the status may change so we have option to enter the what is the date from which the status is applicable next is the automatic po so automatic po is when we use this field the uh, the purchase requests which are appearing into the system they can be collected as a group so the buyers don't need to convert each purchase request individually especially when they are using the me59n as a transaction code to convert the purchase requests they can use that particular uh, field automatic po when it is enabled they can select a group of vendors a group of materials all these things they can be selected and they can release the purchase request in mass so it is saving a lot of time to be honest you know this field is not known by many uh, people who are operating sap right at the same time uh, it is better to avoid using this field for the class a materials because the class a materials purchase orders have to be reviewed individually and uh, they have to be taken care before releasing the purchase orders so it, it is to be used you know uh, restrictively for a class but b and c class items you can use them freely 
then purchasing value key this is one important point which is again a lot of underutilized field in the many organizations with this a lot of controls can be done from purchasing point of view this purchasing value key defines the tolerate limits and also the shipping instructions and uh, whether we need the acknowledgement requirement or not for example there are remainder keys where it is used to send the remainder to buyer or supplier after or before the due date and also we can define the tolerance limits I mean under tolerance over tolerance for example we want to allow something that okay 5% excess of purchase order quantity can be received can be defined here or if there is some high value item that even 0% is not allowed I mean nothing can be allowed as excess we can define as a 0% or we can give us the uh, unlimited over delivery also I mean anything we can receive against purchase order right but which is not at all advisable to enter here but there is option right and order acknowledgement record for PO can be triggered here through this purchasing value key. So the remainders are the number of days in which you know, a remainder has to be sent. If the numbers are entered in positive number then remainders are sent in the number of days after the due date. If the numbers are entered in negative these numbers are entered days before the due date. So we can set first remainder, second remainder, third remainder etc. And these things maintained in purchase info record. But if they are not maintained, then system will pick the details from metal master. So you see, for with respect to purchasing, like uh, delivery time or a GR processing time or these kind of remainder things, the system will always give preference to the data which is available in purchasing info record. If it is not available there only, it will come to the metal master. And then GRIR control is that over delivery, under delivery tolerance as defined here. Unlimited over delivery allows success of anything, but again, it is not suggested to have this unlimited delivery. It, so it has to be defined very carefully uh, and uh, people should take care when they are defining the metal master accordingly. And then GR processing time, goods visit processing time. This is number of defined in number of working days. It is not calendar days. So there is a difference. Calendar days means all seven days will be applicable. There are some companies which will be working only five days or six days only at the time working days will be defined at five or six those days only will be taken here for gr percent they will not take all the seven days per week so this is very important because this is playing a key role in defining the scheduling of materials from mrp and also the gr processing time is actually non-value added time so there should be a lot of efforts to reduce the gr processing time it involves receiving the material, unloading the material, doing the quality inspection. All these things are involved in the GR processing time. Then post inspection stock. If a metal is uh, subjected to be uh, inspected, then this field has to be used. If this field is triggered, metal will be received with the quality inspection stock. Until the metal is in the quality inspection stock, it cannot be used for any other purpose. So the metal has to be moved from post the inspection stock to the unrestricted stock. This can be done in two ways. One is manually or through inspection laws. But one of these ways, metal has to be moved from quality inspection to unrestricted stock. Then only it is available. Otherwise, it will not be available. I mean, after moving to unrestricted only, it is available for further uh, usage in the inventory and also the further usage in the processes. And then there is a field called critical part. This is uh, to mark that metal is critical and this is not activating any function. This is used in the uh, uh, inventory counting just as an indicator, not for any other uh, uh, functioning purpose. Source list is to mandate the creation of source list for the external procurement. If this indicator has been set in the plant, the source list must be entered here. This is good practice. It is a good practice to enter this uh, source list as a mandatory because we can then trigger the system to select the uh, right uh, supplier or the approved supplier or who is the routine uh, preferred supplier even if the metal is having two or three suppliers defined in the source list. So it is better to define the source list here. And then manufacturer part number, it is to define the manufacturing code used by the supplier because the, the metal code used by us and metal code used by supplier need not be same. It may be different between us right so at that time to mention what is the manufacturer part numbers we can use this field so with this uh, we are completing the purchasing view this is the tab for international trade import purpose so here we are having uh, uh, what is it uh, in intrastat group intrastat group is grouping of metal with a similar 
intrastate requirements. This is especially required for the European Union countries where the transaction is happening. Next is the CAS number. It is the key from the list of description given by the WHO for custom free pharmaceutical materials. And then there are production statistics like a PROD COM Broadcom number for a foreign trade alphanumeric key, which allows systematic categorization. It is like your HAN number, no? Like that, it is one kind of a classification, which is harmonized system for describing the coding codes, and uh, it has to be classified according to that uh, um, HS scores. Okay, and it has to also have the combined nomenclature for the foreign trade, and then. Production statistics is also having this PROTCOM number for foreign trade. Uh, it is a control code used for consumption taxes. It is used as a consumption code. Okay. So all these things are related to the foreign trade. It is for the trade import or the foreign trade. So these things when you maintain, you have to discuss with the commercial department and maintain them properly. So that the transaction, commercial transaction will happen smooth. Uh, continuing this, we should also maintain what is the country of origin and also what is the region of the origin. Those things also you have to maintain in the same page. Purchase of the text is a text to describe the metal in more detail. This text is subsequently copied to the purchasing documents like purchase request or purchase orders automatically where we can change if it is necessary. It is valid for all organization level. It is not for a specific details. Okay, the purchasing order text view. So in this session, we discussed various attributes related to purchasing view, like order unit, purchasing group, <coughs> plan specific status, automatic purchase order, purchase value key, and uh, post to inspection stock, foreign trade uh, details, and uh, other fields also. So let us see some uh, quiz questions for this session. So what is the order unit in purchasing view? That is a purchase order unit. What is the use of plan specific metal status? What are the features available in purchase value key? How automatic purchase order that the trigger can be used? GR processing time, is it defined in working day or calendar days? What is the impact of post to inspection stock? Can we give unlimited tolerance to material receipts? These are the questions for this session. We will see the answers in the next session. In the next session, we will introduce MRP views and discuss some key concepts which are used in the MRP views. Meanwhile, please create the purchasing view for the materials, continuing the basic view what we created already as per the business case. Please give your feedback to improve the flow and contents. Suggest your friends and colleagues to subscribe to our channel so that they can also get the benefit of this knowledge sharing. Thank you. See you in the next session. Take care. Bye.